basically what happened today is I was at work, I was talking to a friend. My friend also has gold and silver and so he's kind of a guy that we talk back and forth about the markets and financials and all of that kind of stuff and pretty much it came up today that we were talking about how the Syria bombings uh, that, that night we saw silver and gold go up and then how on Monday we watched it recover back down to like $18 an ounce for silver and then it looks like we've had some drops since then but also some rises and whatever and um, that all doesn't really matter, but that's what started the discussion, so that's why I'm telling you. And pretty much what it came down to was spot price. And he was making a comment about how he wish that his silver and his gold, that the spot price would go through the roof. And I had to tell him he was crazy. Okay, so I know a lot of you stackers out there probably understand this fully but I'm sure there are some that don't also. So I kind of just wanted to make a real quick video talking about it. Anyways, so here's what I'm saying. We have silver, we have gold, and we have a dollar, okay? So I'm gonna draw this out, I guess, a little bit. Silver is this dot. Gold is this dot. Okay, and you can exchange silver for gold. Okay, so that's a thing. You can you can exchange silver for gold. Basically, what this means to me is silver is silver, gold is gold, and a dollar is a dollar. Okay, that's pretty obvious. But which one of them actually fluctuates in value? So neither the silver nor the gold, because these are finite supply, but the dollar definitely changes value because it's based off of trust and it has the ability to be printed and we can pretty much pull this out of thin air, okay? So basically what he was saying is he wanted silver and gold to go up in price. And I asked him if he understood what he said and he said, yeah, and I said no. Because what he was saying is he hopes the dollar loses value. So when silver drops in price, Silver stackers love it. And the reason they love it, although their their stack lost overall value that day, what it meant was it now costs you less of this fluctuating currency to buy more of this static currency or more of this static currency. So when price goes down, it means that the dollar is stronger. And so when the dollar is stronger, you can acquire more metal for less dollars. And unless you get paid in silver and gold, which I'm sure you don't, then you want what you're getting paid with to become stronger. And it's odd thing that silver and gold increase and decrease in price, but they do not increase or decrease in value. So stackers like this because it means that they can acquire more of the silver and gold in the event that a uh, financial collapse or some inflation or even hyperinflation occurs, they have a hedge against that. So now the silver is still worth the silver and the gold is still worth the gold because they are static, but they can be exchanged for more of the fluctuating currency, which means at the time the fluctuating currency is doing poorly. So you can trade it in for a lot of money, so or for a lot of currency. So that's pretty much the point I was telling him and I was saying, look, be happy you have the silver and the gold that you have and in the event that our dollar fails or in the event that world currencies fail, it can be exchanged for whatever the current market value of that currency is. So pretty much it can maintain the purchasing power that it had at the time of purchase. So anyways, that's all I was trying to say. I guess me drawing this wasn't useful at all, but I did it anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, moral of the story here, the too long didn't read type thing, if you happen to scroll to the end here, is be happy spots going down, okay? And when spot goes back up, be happy you have a stack. So that's about it. Um, I wanna turn this into a discussion. I wanna know what you guys think. I know this is a tender topic, and I know people want their holdings 
to increase in value, um, but the word value is the one I have the problem with. The gold and the silver did not increase in value, just the dollar decreased in value. And that's what we're exchanging for. So yeah, um, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Um, I really want to see your guys' comments on this one. I want to know what you're thinking. If you've watched till the end, fantastic. Thank you guys so much for the support recently. I cannot, I cannot express how taken back I am. And anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow.